The Color Chase preset allows you to select a number of colors and have them follow each other. So for instance, in this example, I have four colors, a red, a green, a blue, and a yellow. If I want to add a fifth color, I can go to my steps and add in a new color. It will create the color and I can choose what color I want by coming in, selecting on the tile, either using a pre-recorded color or go to any color I want on any of the color picker methods. I can then choose my direction. This will be the direction in which the colors run. So in this case, red, green, blue, yellow, teal, or if I go backwards, starting at teal and going back through yellow. You'll notice that this is indicated on the effect itself. I then have the option to also do bounce. Bounce will run through all the way and then back all the way. So red, green, blue, yellow, teal, yellow, blue, green, red in this example. Underneath that, I have my time options. Just like every other effect, I have options for period and count. Period will be how long it will take to run through each step, and count will be how many times it fully iterates through all of the effect. The default for color chase is count. So if I update from a count of one to a count of two, we'll see that it'll iterate through this effect twice. Underneath that is offset style. I have two options in offset style, either none, which is the default, or spread. If I'm in none, all of my lights that this effect is applied to will run together. If I'm in spread, they'll follow each other. Reverse will change the order in which the effect is run on the lights. This is different from direction, where direction changes the order in which the colors are run, where reverse changes the order in which the lights are affected. I then have options at the bottom for repeat and buddy, and then I have some timing. Inside of here, I have fade and hold. By default, you will have a zero time for fade, which means we'll go from one color directly to the next. If I come in here and add a little bit of fade time, I will then get a slight blur in between my effect colors. Once you adjust the fade, it modifies the hold to keep the timing correct. 